Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curvel.com and uh, today is going to be a short video but I'm going to show you a cool trick. Uh, we're going to show how to show empty rows or cell values in Power BI and uh, if you don't know how to do this make sure you check it out so you don't spend hours re-engineering this. Okay so let First of all, let's see what we have in here. I have simplified the data. We have two tables. We have a sales table that is an aggregated table. So it means that it has the total sales for countries, for each country. And the other table, it has all the countries that we are present in. So as you can see, we have five countries, but our sales for the period reported here only has sales for four. So what we want to do is a simple table that we say, okay, give me the total sales. This is just the sum of sales, nothing strange. And we're going to make this a table a bit bigger as usual. Please, please Microsoft change this by default is annoying. And, uh, we're going to put the list of countries and you say, okay, Bruce, we know how to do that. What are you doing? Okay. Here's the thing. This table is giving us the sales that we have available in this list for the countries that have sales, but it might be relevant to actually show all the countries. So you highlight like, Hey, this country has not got any sales yet. And that might be an important thing. So you can go there and change sales in case you should have sales. So how do you do that? Now, this is a cool thing. You don't need to do any Dax Hocus Pocus or dark magic thing. This is very straightforward. You just go in here, countries, and show items with no data. And you will get a list for all the countries, whether they have data or not. And I think this is a very, very useful in some cases. Some cases you just want to filter out about what it actually has data, but sometimes you just want to show everything. So if you want to do that, here's an easy way to fix it. So you are not spending hours doing some, again, dark magic in DAX. So easy. If you didn't know, I hope that you find this useful. Uh, I think it's a very nice trick. Okay. Short video today, but hopefully useful. As usual, if you like it, let me know by liking it or by sharing it. Uh, if you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below. And subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every week. Have a great evening. Bye.